Hi, welcome back to Financial Journey. My name's Cal. So today I'm going to be talking about Dragon Life Science. Uh, it's a small micro stock, ticker is N-O-H-O. So I'm going to be talking about the uh, potential rumors um, kind of surrounding it that kind of caused it to go up. Uh, I'm going to talk about where I think it is and kind of talk a little bit more about the rumors and where I feel the price should be. And what I'll get you to do is hit the thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate that. Um, and if you're not already, I'd, uh, I'd greatly appreciate if you subscribe. But uh, let's get into it. Okay, so right now, uh, NoHo is sitting at 0 0.0017, uh, around a 7 mil market cap. Uh, I did reach a high of 0 0.0038 yesterday, um, largely on kind of one of several different rumors that's kind of going around. Uh, so I'm going to be talking a little bit about that and whether it's actually uh, justified. Okay, so there is a couple of different rumors going around, one of which NoHo is the partial beneficiary of a Chinese company buying GNC. Um, so that we'll kind of go over that a little bit, um, possibly NoHo making it onto the NASDAQ, um, and then also a reverse merger. So those are the kind of three things that are circulating um, kind of the, the market right now. Okay, so you'll have to stay with me here a little bit. Uh, it is a little bit of a mystery that you kind of have to piece together based on a bunch of rumors. But right now we have a Mr. Yan, um, who is a deputy minister, sorry, deputy director of industrial uh, economics uh, committee in China. So supposedly Mr. Yan is the majority shareholder in uh, NoHo, um, and he says he wants to list it on the NASDAQ. Um, so I, I, that could be true. Um, I haven't really found much info as far as verification other than him indicating that. Okay, so based on NASDAQ requirements, it states that a share price has to be a minimum of $4 uh, a share or as low as $2 by meeting certain requirements. So the fact that the company does do want to do a reverse merger, or at least kind of the rumor is a reverse merger, uh, would match up. Um, obviously, a reverse merger would increase the share price, uh, which would meet the requirements to make it on NASDAQ. So based on kind of what uh, Mr. Yan is uh, indicating. So a couple more rumors that you do have to piece together. Um, so Dragon Life Science uh, and Yahoo uh, Health merged three years ago. Um, and kind of to further elaborate, Yahoo Health is owned by Harbin, um, which is is the one that bought GNC. So that's kind of, I guess, it's a parent company, possibly that merged with another company. So indirectly, I guess NoHo has some beneficiary, kind of has a financial interest in GNC at least, or at least that buyout. Um, I believe it is around 770 million that it was purchased for, at least uh, that's what it indicated in the article. Um, but yeah, uh, so obviously this is very ambiguous, this whole chain of events um, that caused uh, NoHo to increase 200% in one day to a peak of 0 0.0038. Um, at first thought, even though kind of, if all of this was actually hypothetically true, um, buying GNC, which was personally, in my opinion, a very poorly ran company, uh, and on obviously it was in the uh, midst of bankruptcy, um, buying a company like that isn't always the best news, um, especially considering it's a, a Chinese company, which is kind of ambiguous in general. Um, so I don't see the great benefit in that, uh, especially for NoHo. Okay, so to address kind of the rumors about it being listed on the NASDAQ, um, of course, that would be a, a excellent news. That would be very good news. Any company making it kind of to the next market is always an advancement. It's always a plus. It never would hurt a stock um, at all. So that partially could cause a kind of an increase um, in kind of the assets, whether it be 200%, I don't know. Um, obviously, that increase could be justified by possibly another reverse merger, which would cause it to go up to meet the requirements to make NASDAQ. So again, this is all kind of hearsay, whether it's actually true or not, what happens, I, I don't know. Um, but it's, uh, you kind of have to piece together whether the rumors are actually benefiting NoHo at all um, or not. Okay, so as you can see from the, the chart, um, it's not too bad actually. It did form a, a very good base um, and considering kind of majority of over-the-counter stocks have been getting hit and kind of decreasing a lot, 
this has actually held its value fairly well. Um, so again, the only upcoming weeks will actually kind of truly show how it's going to play all play out, uh, whether the rumors are actually true or whatnot, or whether it's just kind of a pump and dump. In my opinion, I don't feel that the risk versus reward is there, um, only because again, I don't feel that the rumors are actually beneficial, possibly maybe the NASDAQ, but again, why without it kind of backing, like the assets aren't really there. But again, that's that's just my opinion. I do feel that it would have to drop to the point triple uh, zero nine mark at least, um, just based on chart analysis and kind of where I see it going. Um, but again, if the rumors are actually true, uh, this could definitely go up a lot of money, um, especially the NASDAQ um, rumor. But always do your due diligence. Um, and if you're always hesitant about um, a stock, nobody's ever gotten hurt by sitting on the sidelines and just watching. Don't have to always get involved and purchase. So that's my two cents on that, um, on NoHo. If you have any comments, in the um, just leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you think of NoHo, whether you're buying, investing, what you think about the rumors, or maybe I actually completely misread uh, all the rumors and maybe I miss pieced it together. So if that's the case, leave it in the comments below. I would definitely like to kind of learn a little bit about this. I was very curious about this. Took a lot of time to kind of piece together a little bit. But um, yeah, leave it in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe. I greatly appreciate that. And uh, don't forget to hit the thumbs up as well. But thanks for watching.